Welcome to another tech video. So today we're going to be having a look at uh, an Acer laptop. This is the AV1553P. It's the uh, environmentally friendly or certainly using a lot of recycled materials. This is uh, Acer's attempt at um, reducing their carbon footprint. Let's have a look. So here we are, and as you can see, um, we start off with a quite a nice box, actually. Uh, we've got on the front here for planet Earth. So this is just a sleeve that sits over the top of it, revealing the Acer logo. Inside, we can remove the lid, and let's have a look at the lid, because this is quite, quite nifty, really. Uh, so it's Acer green packaging for the Vero, 100% recyclable packaging. 100% uh, recycled PET, water-based ink, uh, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, cardboard packaging, which is nice to see. And then we've got two compartments. Under the compartment here, we've got our laptop, and on the side here, we should have our power brick. So inside, if we lift this up, we've got our UK power lead, and then we've got a charger here, recharge the planet, Replace, uh, replacing the usual packet plastic bag with this protective paper sleeve cover will prevent countless plastic bags from being thrown away every year. Together, let's help make the earths greener. And then the power brick, this is quite interesting because this is a light on power brick. So um, apparently this is using 50% recycled PET in the casing of it, so that's all good news. And then under here, we've got some more packaging, nice soft cloth. Uh, it says Vero for the planet, ocean bound plastic, post consumer recycled, made from 100% recycled PET. This, uh, this little soft cloth sleeve, which is brilliant. And then in the box itself, we've got um, our information gumph again in all recycled material, recycled cardboard. Some of this looks recycled, some of it doesn't look so recycled. But all the information is in here. At least they're doing their bit for, uh, you know, trying to save the planet. So can't fault them so far with their packaging. All right, so let's remove that. And then inside the nice soft cloth, really is soft. We've got, ooh, we've got what appears to be completely recycled PET for the case. Now this, uh, this case, I believe, is called Cobblestone Grey. So if we have a look a little bit closer, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, we've got this sort of cobblestone type of effect, plastic material. So the whole case is made from this, uh, this plastic, which is, yeah, it, it's okay. It's sort of greenish, environmentally friendly-ish. Um, fit for planet earth and then on the back of the device itself we've got some good air intakes we've got a dual fan assembly a really good copper heat pipe under there uh, yeah so far so good and again the branding everywhere is uh, as it says here for planet earth so we've got our rubber feet to hold the base unit off the desk and then inside, if we open this up, so we've got the black finish around the screen. But again, the uh, the recycled cobblestone effect type of plastic. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's plastic, but it seems well built. There's no flex in the device at all. Keyboard, nice keyboard. We've on the R and the E key here. We have a green 
reversed colour. And then on the side of the unit, let's have a look at that. So what does it come with? So we've got our power input here, but we've got two USB type C ports. So these are Gen 2 type C. Um, so these will be five gigabits a second, or oh, they should be 10 gigabits a second. Let me have a look. Yep, USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C ports, so these are 10 gig ports. Um, our USB Type-A ports are USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1, so these are 5 gigabit a second. And then we've got an HDMI port here, which I believe is HDMI 2.0. On the other side we've got our power and our hard disk LEDs, we've got a combined headphone headset jack, we've got another USB type A port here which is Gen 2 type uh, Gen 3.2 Gen 1 and then we've got a Kensington lock. Build quality seems pretty good in actual fact so um, as we've got the device here let's see how easy it is to get into. So we'll come back when I've got the desk prepared so we don't scratch it. And then on the unit itself, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven screws to get rid of um, to open it up. The thing that I like about the devices nowadays is this sort of right to repair type of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how easy it is to get into this unit first of all, and then see what the upgrade options are and see what the repair ability is of the unit. Okay, so that is all the screws undone. Let's see how easy it is to get this cover off. So without any prize at all, let's see if we can get the back up. Okay, so it feels like it's going to come up fairly easily, but it doesn't just pop off. So we're going to take a, uh, a prize at all and we're going to see if we can get that under the side, which we can do. Okay, so it's easier to get up from the back than it is from the front. So all we're doing is literally running this down the side. Any screws that jump out, we're obviously going to pull them out. Okay. So let's see how easy it is to get in here. I've got a screw that I've missed to undo. And once all the screws are loose, it should literally just lift off, which it does. Really easy to get off, so let's just remove all of those screws out of the way. And then we'll take a closer look at the inside. Okay, so inside we've got our battery. Um, this is a 55.9 watt hour battery, rated as 35.45 milliamp hours. One, two, three, four, four cells in there. Um, looking further at the unit itself, so we've got our two exhaust fans here and a heat sink, which will be off the Core i7 processor that's under here. Uh, looks like under here is a RAM slot, so let's have a look to see if that is the case. So on this unit, this comes with, I think it's uh, 16 gig, which it is. So it's 16 gig of DDR4 on the unit. I'm just going to prize that up. Okay, and typically this is a non-upgradable part. This is our RAM soldered on here, so it's all part of the motherboard. 
so you can't upgrade the RAM so you need to spec out your machine before you buy it basically which is disappointing to see would have been nice to see that uh, under here is our one terabyte drive let's see if we can get this out and have a look at it and our one by one terabyte drive is wrapped in this silver silver paper I presume it's for the heat dissipate the heat and if we turn it over we can see that it's a western digital drive Western Digital NVMe PC SN740. So that would seem to me that that's a pretty good drive. One terabyte. Let's pop that back in. Do that back up. And then here and here we've got our front downward speakers. So these face downwards at the front so as long as the base unit is lifted up off the uh, off the off the desk then you'll hear it without any problem at all and then i quite like the fact that they've wrapped their ribbon cables okay so additional functionality you're not going to get a, a three a two and a half inch drive slot in in here there's just not the room for it so they've put a bigger battery in you could have potentially had one over here but uh, we've got a we've got a big battery that apparently gives you around about 11 hours of uh, daily usage apart from that there's there's nothing else to it so we've got a wi-fi card here uh, nothing else that i can see really small main board keyboard okay keyboard is going to be a real pain to uh, to change if you can change it at all um, just because of the fact they've they used the, the heat press to get that on there. Okay, so in terms of uh, ease of getting into it, very, very easy. And then getting the cover back on the top, we're just going to go around, clip it all back in, and pop our screws back in. Very simple to get into the unit itself, although, to be honest, there's no real upgradable parts that you can do in there. The only upgradable part would be the uh, the SSD drive, so you can either stick a, a two, four terabyte drive in there, whatever you fancy, really. All the screws are the same length. All right. So let's get it opened up and let's now talk about the specs. So looking at the device, the screen goes back to around about 70% fallback. Um, so there's plenty of movement on the screen. Again, the plastic cover. Okay, so now let's talk about the specifications of the CPU. So this is a Windows 11 home machine. Uh, it comes with an Intel Core i7. So that is a DECA core, so it's got 10 cores, 12th gen CPU, the base clock runs at 1.7 gigahertz. Um, it comes, in terms of graphics, comes with Intel Iris XE graphics, shared graphics, and the screen size is 15.6 inches. It's an LCD uh, panel with LED backlight technology running at full HD, so 1920 by 1080. As I mentioned, it comes with 16 gig soldered onto the main board, so you're not gonna be able to do a RAM upgrade on this. Um, so in terms of uh, single channel, dual channel, that doesn't matter. It's all part of the soldered onto the, the platform itself, as close to the CPU as possible, so it should be relatively good. And the drive is an NVMe PCIe, sorry, it's an NVMe M.2 drive. Um, and according to the interface, it's PCI Express. And then the Wi-Fi, let's talk about the Wi-Fi. So this is Wi-Fi 6E on here, which is the AX211. So um, yeah, tons of throughput on the Wi-Fi, which should be super. Also comes with Bluetooth 5.1. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So let's get into it and have a look at the system itself. 
Um, really good job from Acer in terms of the bundled software. The only usual one that they bundle with this is McAfee um, that uh, we remove. All right, so here we are, let's get logged in. So I've taken the liberty to get all the updates done and look at the bundled software, but what I wanted to just go through was the specifications. So if we go to our properties, so as you can see, oh, so th this is the 13th gen Core i7, um, which is even better, but 16 gig of RAM, as I mentioned before, Windows 11 Home. So if you're gonna be using it for business, you're gonna to have to upgrade it to a Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro key, but that's by the by. And then we'll go to our apps. As I say, I've already gone through this. Uh, the only thing that we removed was the McAfee and Dropbox promotion. Everything else is standard stuff on here. As you can see, we've still got ExpressVPN that we're gonna remove because that is not needed. <clears throat> so what do we think about the screen? Okay, so, yep, the screen is nice and bright, really colorful, um, lots of depth to it. Let's have a look to see what it's gonna be like outside. So it doesn't tell us how many nits it is, which is pretty useless really. It'd be useful to have that on the specifications page on the Acer website. But yeah, um, I, li I like the machine. It's got a good finish. It seems very, very quick. We do also Let's just have a look at that. So we do also have a um, fingerprint reader and obviously it's got a webcam. So let's have a look at the webcam, see if that's any good quality. So to get the camera working, we're just gonna say camera. Say so yes, precise location. Okay, really good quality actually. Nice and bright, crisp. Let's see what the spec is. Okay, so, wow. Oh my goodness. So the camera on here, photo quality, is 1440p, 3.7 megapixel. And video quality is full HD. So this is a full HD webcam running at 30 frames a second. That is really impressive. You don't often see that on uh, on laptops. They're still sort of coming with 720p, but yeah, the quality of this is, is superb, very good. All right, so while we've got this up and running, let's now go off and have a look to see what the sound sounds like. I'm just gonna to pop to YouTube. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're gonna- to Okay, so that sounds good. So that sounds nice and bassy. Um, let's have a look at the, where are we in terms of speaker? So we're at 76%. 10. So this one comes with a Core i5 processor. Okay, so that sounds good enough to me. Um, I will have a listen to some music, but with that sort of bass level, sounds fine to me. It's gonna be perfect for your audio conferencing when you're you know, doing your remote meetings and stuff. Um, but with a full HD camera, I would say you're onto a winner. Uh, in terms of the power adapter, let's have a look at that. So uh, the power adapter comes with the USB Type-C port. And if you noticed on the laptop itself, so we've got a Type-C port and we've got a normal power port. So, um, you know, they're shipping it with a, with a Type-C power adapter, but it's also got uh, a standard Acer power input there that you can, um, if you've got a power adapter lying around, you can use that as you see fit. But yeah, really like the theme of this being, uh, a, you know, trying to help the planet as much as possible using recycled materials. Uh, on the whole, thumbs up. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just want to say thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.